March got you already second guessing titles. April, spring is in just like a spring start to spiral. May bring some warmer days, poolside getting very tan. John had you move out ice cold, going back and forth with a married man. July, that's when I found out July. Oh. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. If you're returning, welcome back. So in today's video, I will be getting fresh on the art birthday. Yeah, I'm just playing. But in today's video, it's going to be a makeup routine video. Uh, a lot of people ask me, like, how I do my makeup, what I use this in third. I get compliments on my makeup, so I guess it's good enough to walk outside with. So I'm bored. Haven't picked this camera up since, like, the first week of school when I've been in school for about almost a month now. So, um... I paid too much money for this camera to just be laying around, so we might as well do something. Let's just get into the video. So the first thing you want to do, always when it comes to doing your makeup, you want to start with a clean skin, like a clean face. Like your your face is a canvas, so you wanna you wanna start with a clean canvas. All I wash my face with is this Cerave Foam and Facial Cleanser for normal to oily skin. They do have one for dry skin, but I have oily skin, so I use this one. Now, let me show y'all what I do after my skincare, which is also skin prep for your makeup. So, I'm just going to go in with this Nanit, this here brightening toner. I'm not even, I'm not in the mood today. Niacinamide. That's how you say it, period. So, I go like that, and I just pat it into my skin, and I try to avoid my eyebrows. This toner does not do anything for me. It's supposed to be a brightening toner. Um, it doesn't break me out. It doesn't clear anything up. I use it because my boyfriend had it. And he saw it wasn't doing nothing for him. So he gave it to me. So I was like, I might as well get your money's worth. So I just be using it. Okay, now while it's drying down, I take the Hyaluronic Acid Serum from Good Molecules. It's literally just like another... Is it focusing, y'all? I can't see. I don't have my glasses on. It's like another... It's just, it's supposed to hydrate your skin, that's all. Good. So I'll go like that. Now if this is just skincare, I won't use but a dot. And then I will just rub all that in, still avoiding my eyebrows. I rub it in, but I don't rub it in all the way. I like to basically just kind of smear it on my face and let it dry down. Okay, it's dried down, and the reason I like to let it dry is because it gets tacky, and you want that because you want your makeup to stick. I go in with the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. Um, again, don't know if it's folks or not, and I do one pump on each side, one full pump, and then on my forehead, smear it across my face. And let it dry down. Like, it just make your skin look so glowy. Love that. And then, let this dry down as well. Oh, and if y'all hear back, I mean, like, talking and stuff in the background, my iPad is behind the camera. I'm on FaceTime with my boyfriend. It's his birthday. That's why I said I'm going to get fresh on the op birthday. I'm still working on the perfect skin prep for me right now. This is what I've been using. And I feel like it's making my makeup last longer than normal. So now it's time to moisturize. I I use the La Roche Posay or oh, Double Repair Face Double Repair Face Moisturizer. Um this is very much hydrate. I love this little stuff. Um I just go like that. I've never used none of their products until I got this and I got this because I see a lot of people say it's good for like skin prep for your makeup. So I was like, I need something. Because it's just hydrating. You just want your skin to be hydrated as possible. So if my makeup look orange, it's not, it's the light. So for primer, primer helps your makeup last even longer. Like it, it gives your makeup something to grip onto. So. I use, these are basically the same thing, but I use the Power Grip Elf Primer and then the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. 
this one is cheaper but they're literally the same thing so if you need like something on the cheaper side get this one but if you got this one it's the same thing but i just like to use them together because it's just extra grip 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 drippy drip drip you want to put your generous amount like mm, that much i put this everywhere but we still avoiding the eyebrows and i don't rub my primer in i do it how i do my skincare i rub it on there and let it dry because i feel like it gets more tacky when you do that okay now i'm gonna let that primer dry down and once this primer, the elf primer dries down i'm gonna go in with the milk one and then do the same thing it's tacky enough and then i'm gonna go in with my milk one two pumps on each side and then one up there do the same thing let it dry down while this is drying i like to go ahead and do my gel my brows now i have the nyx uh brow glue what i do is i take the this the spoolie and i brush my brows going forward well going the opposite way and i just do this so it'll all my brow hairs will be coated with the glue. I get some more gel and then brush them up into their place. So let me get a little grip test. That don't sound right, but mm -hmm, that's what you want. I'm gonna go in with my uh foundation, Maybelline Fit Matte Plus Poreless Foundation in 375 Java because you can I can make it lighter. So what I do is take a brush, any kind of brush really. I this just a little sculpted looking one. And I take some and I just paint it. I don't use a lot of foundation. I do like two swipes. I hope y'all can see. I hope it's not too much light. But I do like two swipes. Okay. And then to blend it. I use this um, Real Techniques brush. It's the Expert Face brush um, in 200. I just, I use it for my foundation. So, I blend this all out everywhere except my, um, under my eyes. And get, make sure you kind of buff it down. I have a double chin. So, I buff it down all the way under there. And then my forehead. So I take a brush and then I go in with a beauty blender. I just feel like a beauty blender get everything blended in more. I don't know where I got this beauty blender from. Probably TJ Maxx, not gonna lie. Now I'm gonna put my concealer on. Okay, now I'm gonna do my concealer. This is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop uh, Contour Concealer um, in the shade Mocha. I got this from the hair store. But for my concealer placements, I go under my eye. And then drag it like that. And then right here, and right there, and I put some up here on my forehead like that. Now with your concealer, you always want to let it dry down, not all the way, but like dry, like so it's not so wet, so you get full coverage as possible. So while this is drying down, I'm gonna do my brows. So I use the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil pencil in black uh she's dusty i got this from walmart i believe so i just take my brows they already brushed up i just go over and brush them more and i just shape them into their natural shape i don't have a good i don't like the shape of my natural brows like at all 
I wish I had like a natural arch with them. Okay, for my brow, I just go under it and trace the natural like line that y'all already have. And I just darken up the tail a little bit. I like to do it. I like to just put a little hair strokes in the front because I don't like a thick brow. So, I like my brows to still kind of look natural, but I still want you to be able to tell that I drew them on. Okay, now that I've drawn them, I'm going to blend my concealer and then we're going to conceal my brows. I'm going to use this Real Techniques um, Medium Shadow Brush 308. I think I got this on TJ Maxx. It's like kind of flat. And then what I do, I take my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And then I'll just like spray my face lightly just to kind of make the concealer easier to blend. This smells so good. I wish it was a perfume. And I always started my chin. There's no like reason. I just do. On the top of my lip, I blend it and I go up towards my eye. And then I start with the inner corner looking up. And I just go out. And I bring it on, spread it on out. But then I just blend the concealer out. I put on my forehead. I blend it and then I kind of like buff it. Like kind of. Not too much blend it but like buff it. Kind of like eyeshadow. Up into the out. Uh, like the outer corners. Then we're going to take the one size. Um, medium dark three concealer. Um, really just to brighten up my eye. So I'm just gonna put some like just like that. And then I'm gonna let that sit. And then while that sit, we're gonna conceal my brows. My uh LA Pro Conceal. You wanna get as close as possible to your brow without touching the hair. So I'm gonna do that. And then I kind of like drag it out so it'll be easier to blend. So I'm letting that dry down. While that dry, I'm going to blend this. Um, I'm going to use the Real Techniques 402 brush. It's a setting brush. Uh, same thing. Set spray. But I just blend it. I kind of like just stay in the corner to make sure. It okay, now I have a bright under eye. If you don't, <coughs> ooh, if you want your eyes to be brighter, I would suggest either using a lighter concealer than what you normally would. I don't like a real, real bright under eye because I feel like I look like Michael Jackson. So this is good for me. So, ooh, so I'm going to just use this one. And I just like go under and be gentle around your eye. I don't know if this is pointless, but I like to do it. I'll go back and just brush my brows back. I feel like it kind of blends the concealer and the pencil together for my bronzer um i use the elf putty bronzer in the shade sunkiss and then i use the um the putty bronzer elf brush it's you cannot definitely have been using it so i do this like kind of 
down like i like to turn my head and just go down but i don't bring it to like my mouth so like that and then i bring it up into my hairline and then the same way on this side and then i'll take a beauty blender and blend it some more lightly though and i do kind of like i said buff it into the hairline now i'm gonna set my under eye yeah but before i do that i am gonna spray it with some more setting spray oh why i spray it like that so let this dry and then i'm gonna do my face i use the wet and wild photo focus and banana uh i think i got this from walmart i dip it but don't dip it and go straight in because then it's too much powder you dip it and you rub it on the back of your hand to smooth it out. And then I go like this first, and then like that. But I blend it in. I don't just let it sit. I don't. I don't bake. That's it's called baking. I don't bake. And I only use this under my eye, under my eyes, my the middle of my forehead, and my chin. And I only put it where I put where I want it to look brighter. Okay, now I'm gonna do my powder, bronzer, and blush. Okay, but anyways, I used the Juvia's Place bronzer in the shade Dark. It's a two, and I use the first one right there. And I got this brush. I don't know, my boyfriend got it for me. I forgot. I think I ordered them. I don't know. But it's just like a little fluffy brush. And I just use that. So I go and I only put it, I put it where I put my uh, putty bronzer. So for my blush, I use another brush from the little set that I don't know where I got from. But I'm going to go in with the coral one. And I smile when I do my blush. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I had to change the battery out on this camera. Uh, coral pink looking one. And I smile when I do my blush. So, But I start like at my temple kind of. I try not to go so heavy with my blush. And then I put on my nose. Because I always feel like I like a clown with too much blush. I don't know. But I'm going to do my NYX one. Which broke how. I don't know. <sighs> and she is pigmented. So. Bro. It's like a bubblegum pink. Alright. So blush it on now i'm gonna do my contour i'm gonna use this black radiance contour palette from medium to dark i really only just contour my nose and then i use my contour for my eyeshadow for my contour i start like right here and i just drag it i don't drag it all the way down and then use it for my eyeshadow Okay, now I'm going to do my Fit Me powder and oh wait, y'all, I bought the wrong one. I had lost mine, so I bought another one, but I bought it in Mocha, and I've been using Truffle, but I like my Truffle one, so I'm gonna take it. It's the Fit Me from Maybelline in the shade 362. 
what it's called powder puff for this too and I do the same thing like with the white one I rub it and then on the back of my hand and I do this really just because I feel like it bring my color back and not only this go like everywhere I feel like it bring the color back because if I just use my banana palette I feel like I look ghost I don't know And then, I don't know why I do this, but I feel like I have to. I take, it's, I got highlighter on this, I think. Y'all, I got to remember what brushes I be using. I got two. I'm going to use this one. This is a Real Techniques brush, the blush one. Uh, I just go over my whole face and go like this try to like kind of blend everything together i'm gonna do my highlight so i use the fenty beauty highlight in the shade how many carrots it's the packaging super cute and then that's how i actually look it got a little brown in there for some makeup but that's okay yeah i just take another real techniques blush brush i swerve it around in there and I, I kind of do it like I do my blush. I smile and do it. What's that? And I put it where I put my blush. And then I'll take like a smaller brush if I can find one, a clean one. And I put this on the bridge of my nose. No, it's just so y'all probably I dropped it no okay it didn't break but okay I'm not done and so, since I'm not going nowhere I'm gonna do like a nude pink use my go to I don't know what this is because it's gone like it's just a dark brown liner that I got from the hair store Now I'm just going to go with this NK Makeup Lip Shine in the shade Pink Truffle. It smells so good. Man, put a lot. I mean, not put a lot. Put some and then blot your lips together. So for gloss, I'm going to take this Kosas Wet Lip Oil. Uh, it say unbutton. I don't know if that's the shade or what, but it say unbutton. like that oh y'all really can't see i'm so sorry for my light dab it clear gloss was a lip glow oil from the hair store the knick knack new york brand i got it from the hair store i'm going to set my face again with the charlotte tilbury uh airbrush setting spray while this dry down, once I spray it, I'm going to look for what pair of lashes I'm going to put on. Okay, I found my lashes. Uh, I don't. I got it from hair store, and I always wear them unless I got on lash clusters. Okay, I put my glue as close as possible to my lash line. And if you get glue on your real lashes, just go like that and pick it off. Here. Okay, so let me do my hair, y'all. Let me do something to my head, and then I'm gonna come back and show y'all what the finish look. But this is how she came out. My arm just popped, but. Okay, let me get in front of the window and some natural light. I wish I could, like. I probably can't. I don't know. I'm still working, trying to learn to work this camera, but y'all, I love it.
did go a little heavy with the banana powder, but that's okay. I'm still cute. And I got my little cute pajama set on. I'm mad. My makeup has never looked this good if I was going somewhere. Now I need to find somewhere to go. Yeah, I did go ham with that banana powder. I normally don't use that much, but anyways. I would go in the bathroom, but the lighting's so bad in there. That's really the end of this. I just wanted to pick my camera up and do something. But thank y'all for watching my video. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video.